<laughs> Hello and welcome to this Gorilla Physics special with me, Basil Letts. Today we're going to be talking about LDRs, uh, MOSFETs and potential dividers. Now, earlier in the week, Gary the Gorilla asked me, who turns on the street lamps, Basil? How do they get turned on at night? And I'm going to attempt to explain that to you today. Hello, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, MOSFETs and light dependent resistors and how they can be used to um, turn on or turn off an LED when the conditions change. So if you look at this circuitry here, I've got an LED which currently isn't emitting any light, but when I place the LDR in darkness, i.e. by covering it, the LED lights up. And this uh, piece of circuitry is very common in, in street lamps. When it gets dark at night, uh, the circuit activates and the lamp turns on, illuminating our roads. I'm going to try and explain how this works today. So I'm going to try and explain how this works. And the key piece of, uh, the key component, the key piece of equipment is this thing down here, which is a MOSFET, a type of transistor. And essentially, when the potential difference between the gate, this point here, and the source, this point here, is two volts or more, the transistor turns on and current is allowed to flow between the drain and the source. If the potential difference between these two points is less than two volts, then no current is allowed to flow between the drain and the source. And if no current is allowed to flow between here, no current can flow through here, and the LED won't emit any light. When this transistor is activated and current is allowed to flow through here, then current flows through the LED, it emits light, and we see it glowing red. Now, this is the LDR here, which is connected in parallel with the gate and the source uh, of, the, of the transistor. This means that the potential difference over the LDR is the same as the potential difference between the gate and the source. Hence, if we change the conditions in our circuit such that the voltage over the LDR is two volts or more, the voltage between the gate and the source will be two volts or more as well, and the LED will, will light up. When the light is shining on the LDR, it has a low resistance. Because it has a low resistance relative to the overall resistance of this branch, the voltage drop over the LDR is small. Most of the voltage, let's say five of the six volts provided, is dropped over the fixed resistor, and only one volt is dropped over the LDR. This voltage drop over the LDR is too small to activate the transistor, and so the LED doesn't light. When we cover the LDR, its resistance shoots up. Because its resistance is now a greater proportion of the overall resistance of this branch, then the voltage drop over it also increases. The LDR now has a much higher resistance than the fixed resistor, so more of the voltage supplied by the battery is dropped over that component. When the voltage over the LDR is 4 volts, the voltage between the gate and the source is 4 volts as well. The transistor is activated and the LED turns on which is exactly what we saw happening earlier. I'm now going to switch around the LDR and the fixed resistor to show you that we can have an LED that's permanently lit and only goes off when the LDR's in darkness. So as you can see, the LED is lit now, but when I cover the LDR, the LED is no longer emitting light. When it's, the LDR is illuminated again, the LED comes back on. So, back to Gary's original question. The street lamp isn't turned on by some man sitting in a little room somewhere. It's all done automatically. When it gets dark outside, the resistance of an LDR changes, and this is connected to a transistor uh, and enables the street lamp to turn on, turn on at night. This principle can be used in another, uh, a number of other different situations. If you change the LDR for a thermistor, it can be used to, say, turn on the cooling circuitry in a fridge if the fridge gets too hot, or it can be used uh, in, in baby alarms. If the, the room is too warm that your, your baby's in, you might have this circuit connected to a, a buzzer or an alarm, which might sound if the room was getting too stuffy such that you could cool it down. 
Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people.